Hey y'all, Mikey from Rockin' K, and look at these awesome apple blossoms and cherry blossoms. Looks like spring has sprung. Let's get some things done. That's coming up. So it's 6.30 in the morning and we got a delivery. Firewood. Whole truckload. And there she goes after dropping off all this wood. Now, I got my job cut out for me. Because now I have to turn all of that into firewood. And I don't know if the camera's catching that. But that is one big pile of wood. It is ginormous. So, that should be uh, two, maybe three years of firewood at least. So, yeah, we got our work cut out for us. All right, folks, it is a beautiful day, beautiful day. So, as you can see, we got some good sun. I'm going to try to keep you guys out of the sunshine. But, we had that wood delivered the other day, and yeah. I want to get it off the grass today at a minimum so got the tractor out behind me got the log splitter chainsaws and we're gonna have at this little pile here so ain't nothing to do but do it Good morning, internet. So today is Saturday. It is a absolutely gorgeous day, as you can see. And today I am going to be putting herb snail. This one's prefabbed, and I want to put it right here. So this is what we're going to do. And I have Mr. Mustafa keeping me company today. He wanted to come outside, so it's kind of hard to say no. All right, so here we go.
Okay, so I dug out my form. This way I... Okay, so you can't really see it on the camera, but I got a form dug out so that the water will drain out of the bottom of the snail across this agrofoil and down into this little pond area that I'm making right here. This will be for butterflies. I'll put stones in it. Butterflies and bees. Right, so we have the agrofoil cut. You see the water does drain down. And now I'm in the process of filling them. I will get stones to put on the agrofoil and decorate around as well as to put in the little pond here so that the birds and the hummingbees, hummingbirds and bumblebees have something to land on when they get a drink of water. And your mints will always go down at the bottom. Always remember to plant mint in a container that's going to keep the roots from spreading because mint's a weed. The rest of my plants I don't have already in pots, so they will come in as seeds. With the exception of a lavender, I have a lavender plant I need to put in. All right, folks, we are like two hours in. Got a stack behind me. And that stack is a little bit smaller. So it was slow going at first. I had to get some stuff unburied and everything like that. But now we're cruising along. Um, just stopped for lunch and now we're back at it. So my goal is to try to get rid of the rest of these logs that are running away from us so that my grass doesn't get all, all beat up. So, back to work.
All right, folks, so it's five, and I'm tired, but productive day. Got to show you a couple of things, though. The cherry tree is blossoming. So are those two apple trees down there, and any day now, that peach is, or pear tree is going to pop, too. So, spring has sprung. Mama was busy. She filled up her um, herb snail. So she got her herb snail filled up today. So she's growing all her herbs in there. She's going to finish this out with river rock all around. And then, of course, rinse them all off. Make them look pretty. So, good day for the solar. We're over 4 kilowatts produced. Almost 5 on that little solar system. Yeah. So, kicking butt. The potatoes are coming up. They're looking good. So we planted the potatoes in a raised bed that's actually lined so they don't go rogue and end up all in this garden. But so mama's been busy down there. And I'm going to take you for a walk over to where I was because it's right around the corner. And I'll tell you been too long since I did some firewood yeah. so let's flip you around there's the firewood for the day not quite as much as I wanted to get done but it's a good little bit you had a couple visitors too I stopped uh, I had people here because they were very interested in the amount of wood that I had delivered um, the of the wood. and the quality of the wood so let me flip you around again here at the wood pile so that's almost three meters full we're getting there that's three meters out of a whole lot so there was some biggins in there Rachel put her foot up there so she can show you how big it is yeah big but we got that bit down so you can see where the logs are on the grass i tried to get them to the point where i could get those logs out but just ran out of day so hopefully monday i can get those but then there's a lot of that so i'm figuring it's at least 43 44 meters of wood and that's good for at least two, maybe three years. Uh, at least two. And we're supposed to get more wood from the forest. And if that happens, we definitely got three years worth of firewood. So that's a good thing. But we're going to wrap this day up. I need to get myself into a shower. I think she needs to get herself into a shower too. She's hiding out there behind me. You really can't see her. So... And and he has to edit. And I gotta edit all this. It's gonna be a lot of editing. So, if you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, give them a WhatsApp or a WhatsApp. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next installment, I'll feed his aim. Cheers.